What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to change slide to answer to accept or decline for your incoming iPhone calls. This should be quite an easy tutorial. For more information, click on the first link in the description below. If you have an iPhone, you may have noticed that there are two different ways to answer all incoming calls. Sometimes you see a slider that says slide to answer and other times you see buttons that say accept or decline. You may wonder why this is the case and if you can change it to your preference. The slide to answer feature is only available when your iPhone is locked, meaning that you have not entered your passcode or used face ID or touch ID to unlock it. This feature is designed to prevent accidentally answering calls when your phone is in your pocket or bag or when you're not ready to talk. To answer a call with the slide, you have to swipe the screen horizontally in the direction of the arrow. The accept or decline buttons are only available when your iPhone is unlocked, meaning that you have entered your passcode or used Face ID or Touch ID to access your phone. This feature is designed to give you more control over your calls and to allow you to reject unwanted calls with a simple tap. To answer a call with the buttons, you just have to tap on the accept button. Nevertheless, for both call screens, you can use the options such as sending a message or setting a reminder by tapping on the small icons next to the slider or buttons. Unfortunately, there is no setting to change the slide to answer feature to accept or decline buttons or vice versa. This is a default setting on iPhones and it cannot be changed. However, there are some workarounds you can try, such as pressing the power button twice to reject the call on the slide to accept call screen or using the volume buttons to momentarily silence the call. These steps and more information will be available in my extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.